This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and this is a special unboxing. Um, as you can see the box has already been opened because I had to hide my address. Don't want you guys like coming to my house. But um spoke about this in a previous video where I said I was going to um, ultimately build my own computer and this is basically the first box. Uh, uh, so <laughs> here's the bulk of it and I'll leave the um, link in the description to what exactly it is that I got. Um, basically it's a do-it-yourself combo kit that comes with a bunch of different components. It'll cost me between $500 and $550. Um, so, you know, after working my magic and getting the money together, I'm now able to do this thing. And uh, let me make sure that the label right here don't have anything either. Nah, that's cool. I, I should know. All right. Sorry. Got to be protecting your privacy. Anyway. Uh, let's open this bad boy up uh, to show you guys what's um, in this kit, just in case you're interested. Um, now, I just went with this basic kit because it had a lot of components that I felt were good enough to do what I wanted to do. I didn't go with anything like extra extraordinary because my ultimate goal isn't to build like some extreme gaming PC. I just wanted to put together a computer that would help me be more efficient with my YouTube stuff, help me with school, I'm doing network administration and you know eventually we'll have lab products, projects and things like that that I want to be able to work on very efficiently. Um, I am trying to learn stuff like Photoshop, Flash and other things like that and this will help me with that as well as video editing software so I can add a bunch of stuff to my resume. It's a, it's, it's a project that's eventually going to lead towards self-improvement and improvement for my YouTube channel as well which is a benefit to anyone who subscribed to me so by the way if I haven't said it a million times over thank you to everyone who subscribed to me I appreciate your support but um, let's start with the first component that's on top uh, this right here is the power supply uh, Roswell um, 630 watt power supply don't really need it a lot because uh, let me really quick lean over here uh, this is the graphics card that I have this is my old graphics card I didn't buy a new graphics card um, I figured I'll just stick with my GTX 650 right now because uh, again I'm not building an extreme uh, gaming PC I just you know want something to do work with um, so I'm not stressing myself out trying to get like a more powerful um, graphics card at the moment Maybe later down the road, if you know, it's within the budget and I feel like I need it, maybe I'll upgrade to something more robust. But this does just enough for me. I can play the games that I like to play um, just fine. Um, no worries, no stress. Uh, you know, so yeah, I'm not really tripping off of any of that stuff. Uh, and the good thing about this is it doesn't consume a lot of power. It runs straight off the motherboard. I like most graphic cards now, which uh, require you to connect them to your power supply and draw power for that. So that's why this 630 uh, watt power supply is more than enough for what I need to do. Uh, next component right here is the Intel Core i7 processor. Um, it's 3.6 gigahertz. Um, you can actually... I like how they have it up top, by the way. But you can actually um, overclock this to 4 gig gigahertz. So, you know, I still have headroom and performance. Um, I thought about getting a 4 gigahertz one, a kit with that. But it would have cost me $200 more. And it was like, it, it was something negligible in my mind. It wasn't something that ultimately was going to make a big difference. Especially when I get to the later um, parts of this build. You'll see why. Um... And this right here, this is the one terabyte hard drive that comes with this kit, Western Digital. Um, it's a regular hard drive. It's not a solid state drive. 
Um, I was it was suggested that I get a solid state drive, and I agree. Solid state drives definitely do improve the speed of your boot, your system booting up and things um, starting up, but it's not a necessity right now. And I could always pick one up for cheap. Whereas you know, again, the previous uh, build, the other that I mentioned that was two hundred dollars more had one, but I can get a solid state drive for 50 bucks if I choose later on the line. So again, that's something down the road. We're not like stressing out over that right there. Um, the next thing, well, this is the G Skills Rip Jaws 8 gigabyte DDR3 memory card. Um, Final only 8 right now because um, I'll explain to you why uh, when I show you the other component, why I'm cool with that. Uh, simply put, it's all I need for right now, and when I want to expand, I can't expand. Um, it's, you know, it's a good quality memory chip, and it'll help me do what I need to do. That's all. Again, this is all about efficiency and cost effectiveness. This ain't about balling out and trying to impress and, you know, have a, you know, gaudy PC. To show off to the masses. That's not my purpose of this purchase. And the, um, not the last piece of the combo. But probably one of the most important pieces. Is this motherboard right here. Um, MSI Z97 PC Mate. Um, good thing about this motherboard is. One. It supports overclocking. Even though I'm not a fan of overclocking. If I want to. I can. Um, as you can see. Supports RAID, uh, which is basically if I wanted to put in another hard drive and every time I uh, save something on my hard drive, have it back up to a secondary hard drive, I can do that. And I could probably put a bunch of hard drives in the case that I got with this that I'll try to show you in a second. It's kind of big and awkward, but so I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to. Uh, I'm probably not going to take it out of the box because I took it out before just to check it out. And Jesus, it's huge. Um, the links will be in the description if you want to see the case. But um, as far as the motherboard is concerned, it's compatible with the upcoming fifth generation of iCore processors. So when they come out later this year, I'm set, I mean, well, it should be coming out sometime soon. I forget. I don't know. It might be already out. Who knows? Uh, but. It is compatible with that, so even though I have a 4th gen processor, which is the current standard, I'll be able to bump up to the next one. Um, I can put up to 32 gigs of memory, which is again why I had no problem just getting this kit and getting this 8, because I could expand the hell out of this thing. Um, I believe it has 4 memory slots, so I could just get 3 more of these, bam, there we go. Um, you know, 32 gigs of memory. Uh, it has enough, um, USB slots for me. Funny, I was looking at a, um, what was it, was it, Acerock, um, Azrock, um, motherboard that had, like, a gajillion, and I was like, gosh, I should get that, but it's like, I don't necessarily need it. I actually have USB hubs and all that. Um, I think it has eight on this, um, let me check to make sure, but whatever it is, it's more than enough. I do not um, need that. Uh, yeah, it actually looks like it has 12, so um, I'll confirm that though later when I finish the build and I give you guys the final rundown. Um, but it's fine. It does what it needs to do. Um, if I wanted to uh, run stuff at 4K, I can because this actually supports, has an onboard mother uh, on board video uh, port. Why am I sounding so retarded right now? Basically, if I didn't want to use my video card, I could just use the motherboard because it has video ports, um, HDMI port, and a um, regular video port that I could just use. Um, the Intel processor supports, um, it has inter um, integrated graphics in it, so it'll be able to run that. So if I want to do that just without a... Um, graphics card I can and that's another thing about this build is that if you want to get up and running 
but you don't want to start like spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on things like the graphics cards to go with it, you're fine with getting it. You'll be able to run things. You probably won't be able to do any like hardcore gaming or anything like that, but you'll be able to get up and running and do what you need to do until you figure out what graphics card you feel will be the right fit for you. Like I said, for right now, the one that I have is just fine. Later on the road, if I decide I want to become more um, PC gaming heavy with this, then I can, you know, go ahead and take care of that with ease because this will support, like, you know, just about every card that's out there. Um, I don't know if it will be able to run the uh, 900 series of NVIDIA cards if I wanted to go that route. Because those things consume mad power, but, uh, you know, for now, I'm good. So, that is the components. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should put these back in the box, because this, uh, this case is going to be crazy to try to display. So see what I could do is put everything back in. Uh, uh. Alright. And then we can just sit this off the side. Uh, okay, let's see if I can pick up this box. At least get something. Oh, crap. You can't, you can barely see it. Uh, you see the name there, I guess. Uh, it's a Raymax Cobra Z uh, case. Um, yeah, it's like too much to go through to get this out to show you guys. So I'll just post a pic of it in this video uh, so that you will know what it looks like. But, you know... The main stuff that you, I guess everybody is concerned with is, is these. You have power supply, memory, uh, let's see, get that there. Motherboard, right in there. Processor, hard drive. So you get all six of these components. Um, Z97 MSI PC Mate motherboard, G Skill 8 gigs DDR3 memory, Roswell 630 watt processor. I'm not processor, power supply unit. Um, Intel i7 3.6 gigahertz. Processor, one terabyte Western Digital um, SATA hard drive. So there we go. That is the PC that I'm going to build. Um, I will be posting videos uh, talking about this once it's put together. I may do a video showing me putting it together. I don't know. I have to see how much work that's going to take. Let me know if you really want to see it, and uh, maybe I will post it. I think I am going to just record it and see how it goes. And then if you guys say yay or nay, post it then. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, if I don't put it up, know that I just said fuck it and <laughs> it was too much trouble. But anyway, that's it. That's the uh, do-it-yourself kit that Newegg.com has available. Link will be in the description for you guys in case you want to check it out and maybe purchase it yourselves um hopefully it's still available when i post this video because new egg has a habit of having something one day and then not having it the next they can be funny like that sometimes if it's not there i'll just post the links to all the individual pieces so you guys can have an idea of how much they will cost individually as one of the beautiful things about new egg is that when you purchase a do-it-yourself combo from them they do it at a discount. This would have normally cost me, if they would have left everything at regular price, um, like six fifty, seven hundred. But after discounts, it costs between five and five fifty, um, give or take 
shipping tax, stuff like that. Um, but check it out, and the price will fluctuate too, so don't quote me on that price. If I put the link up today, tomorrow, it may go up, it may go down, so keep an eye on it, because Newegg is known for doing stuff like that. But there you go, do-it-yourself kit. Um, have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, and as always, I will holler at you later. This is your boy Black Magus, and I'm out, y'all. Deuces.